this is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Home Improvement How To's. Today we're reviewing a product from Bear, Bear's Paint. It's Bear Premium Plus Ultra. I used it about 10 years ago, was pretty critical about it, so now I'm giving it another chance. Testing it here, the customer was adamant we use Bear Paint, so we're using it, testing it out. We're gonna give it an honest opinion, so stay tuned for this video. So this would be one of the pluses about this paint. We sprayed this door. It was pretty much a white door and we sprayed it with this pretty vibrant red. And typically, you know, when we're dealing with this, we'd have to prime it with a dark gray primer, a P P4 primer or something. And then we'd have to use multiple coats, but we tried just spraying a fog coat of this red and then we top coated it with one more coat and completed, uh, covered it 100%. So it has really good coverage with this vibrant color. So that's a plus. Here we found Jake over here. Jake's so, been doing, what have you been doing with the Bear Premium Plus, Jake? We've been trimming out some windows and painting some fascia. So tell me something you like and something you don't like about this paint. I don't like that it runs pretty easily. Um, you know? And what do you like about it? I don't know. He doesn't know. I don't know. All right, we'll go I on to the next guy. Yet. Still searching. So he's still searching. All right, fair enough. So we found John back here on fascia. So John, yeah, tell us one thing you like about Bear and one thing you dislike about it. Bear sprays like butter, but it doesn't roll or brush very well. All right, think. all right, it sprays like butter, but doesn't brush or roll well. All right. Okay, we found Zach back here spraying. What are you spraying, Zach? Spraying bear paint. So you're spraying gutters. Yeah. So tell us one thing you like about bear and one thing you dislike about it. Um, it runs really easy and I like how it looks when it's sprayed. All right, so he likes the finish and he says it runs easy. All right. So we got John, he's just doing window trim. Window trim, is that what you're doing, John? Window trim, fascia, All any right. of the trim. So he's got his bucket here. Tell us one thing you like about Bear and one thing you dislike about it. I think the Bear sprayed really well. Um, I'm not very impressed with how thin it is on the, the nap or the, the brush. It, it feels like semi-transparent stain on the brush and on the nap to me, but. So it's pretty thin, and um, but you like how it sprayed? I liked how it sprayed. All right. So we found Reagan. He's got his bucket. What are you using, Reagan? I'm using the bear. So one thing you like about bear and one thing you dislike about it? Uh, it coats. It coats all right when you're rolling with the nap, but it's got pretty bad runs. So you got hit with your brush after if you're not careful. So it runs pretty bad. It runs pretty bad, yeah. So you think it covers all right? You said. Uh, it covers all right. Not as good as thing resilience does, but it does the job. All right. So we found moats here, better known is Andrew or Andrew better known as Moats. So Andrew, tell us what you, what do you got in your bucket first? I got some paint, some bear from Home Depot. I'm usually a resilient satin type of guy, but I'm going bear, I'm going bear on this house. <laughs> so tell me one thing you like about bear and one thing you dislike. I'm a big fan of bears, so I like the name of the paint. <laughs> I'm not really, John's not a bear fan, so that's probably what I don't like about bear. Well that's, much, wow. <laughs> So, um, what do you like about it? <laughs> I don't think Andrew knows. I honestly don't really know. I just kind of do what I'm told. And I put, put bear paint on the house. <laughs> so, so Andrew's just doing what he's told. He's just putting the bear paint on the house. I'm a I mean, sheep. That's good. At least he's earning his keep. Why, why stand out when you're born to fit in? Do you have anything to say to your fans, most? <laughs> why stand out when you're born to fit in and be like the rest? All right. <laughs> Everybody say bye to Moats. <laughs> so there you have it, a few honest reviews from a few journeyman painters and a few apprentice painters who have never tried the product before. They were just handed the product today in this situation where the customer was adamant we use bear paint. So we purchased it from our local hardware store, used it. The customer paid a little bit extra for us to use it and test it out. So it was kind of cool, good opportunity and um, you saw what they had to say about it. Now, what do I have to say about it? I tested the product too, and you know I'll go over some of the good 
thing, good things I like, I like about it and some of the bad things I like about it. And one of the things I uh, like about it that I noticed at the very beginning, I started spraying it and it's very quiet and cleans and sprays very clean. So there wasn't a whole lot of overspray, not a lot of fallout. And you know, what I believe is that's because it's a high quality product with um, you know high quality fillers and not cheap fillers like clay, which will cause it to be extremely loud and cause a lot of hissing when you're spraying and you'll get a lot of fallout. So it just sprayed um, very, very quiet, it went on like butter, and I really liked that about it. I, and when I was spraying overhead, didn't have any, hardly any fallout and um, overspray from it. So that's, that's a really good quality of this bare paint. Um, another thing I liked about it it, um, it, it dried like most of our paints, it dried really quick, didn't coagulate when brushing it. And um, so those are some good qualities about it. What's a, a negative quality about the product? I'd have to say uh, the the worst thing is is it runs really easy when brushing and rolling. And I did test the product out probably about 10 years ago where I was demoed a house and it ran really easy when I was spraying it and it ran really easy when we were brushing and rolling it. This time spraying the house, didn't get any run spraying it, so I think that's a big improvement. No run spraying, but as you saw from some apprentice painters and some journeyman painters, they all complained about it running. I noticed that it ran really easy, and it's one of the qualities I like about a, a paint is I like it as from a, pro, 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 from a professional painter standpoint, I like it to what we call hang well, and and that's and when it hangs well, when you brush it on really thick to try to get it to cover in one coat it's not gonna run it's gonna hang on there and hold itself and dry without getting any runs so it didn't uh, perform you know that great in that respect but um, you know another uh, some of the other good qualities it covered really really well you can see we sprayed that uh, door and I expected to spray at least four coats by um, because we didn't put a primer down like a p4 grade primer so I was expecting to get a have to do about four coats to my surprise, it covered really, really well. And I remember that 10 years ago that it covered really well also. So it still covers really well. I think it's a, a very high quality paint. I think it's designed for the do-it-yourselfer because um, a, a professional painter, like we paint, we're trying to get it on one coat in, in certain situations and we're spraying it on really heavy and to get it to cover and, um, and, and get a really good mill thickness and stuff. And so that whole quality about it not hanging wasn't something that I liked. Now when I use it, the price point, uh, it, it, they, it's only sold around here at one hardware store. I don't want to advertise a hardware store, but it's one of your really large big box um, stores and they don't offer contractor discounts, so it's very expensive paint to buy and I think for what you get, it's a little bit too expensive. But I know some other people uh, across the nation and stuff that um, the price point is really well. So I'm not going to uh, complain about that or have anything negative to say about that. I do think it's a good quality paint. Would I continue to use it? I, I, I wouldn't continue to use it at all. One of the things about those big box stores is they don't cater to contractors. They're not gonna deliver paint when I need it, when I run out at a job site, which my local paint store um, does. They really take care of me and I can get paint right now. I can get it mixed now. Though Those local hardware stores, it's just gonna be hours and hours of wait time and stuff, so it makes it really difficult. But those big box stores, are they don't cater to contractors at all. They're more for doing yourself or so um, there you have it that's kind of my review of the product I think you should really go out and test it yourself and see what you think about it um, my opinion isn't the only opinion and my opinion isn't um, by any means um, the opinion that you know matters and, and it, it all costs but um, you know, you saw, you, I've been paint, I'm a journeyman painter, I've been painting for a lot of years, so you got my opinion. Uh, John, who's been painting for me for around 13 years, journeyman painter, you saw his opinion, you saw Zach's opinion, who's been painting for me for a handful of years, and then you saw some college students' uh, opinions who are apprentice painters for me, painting for a couple years. So kind of interesting. 
Anyways, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It's free and easy to do. I do have a live show every Monday on YouTube. All you gotta do is subscribe to my channel and that little bell, just push that little bell. It's a notification bell and you'll get a no notification whenever I go live because I do occasionally go live outside of my regular time, which is uh, every Monday, 7 p.m. at Mountain Time, USA time. Don't forget, you can visit my website, theidahopainter.com where I got all kinds of tips and tricks when it, if you got a painting business and you need help you know advertising your uh, painting co company doing bids and stuff it's all kinds of help on there I'm also giving always giving away a lot of products I got a giveaway tab over on the right hand side just click on that tab you'll see some giveaways that I do I've gave away just gave away a Titan airless sprayer and a Graco airless sprayer here recently so go check that out also check me out on Facebook and Instagram I love those two platforms I'm putting little 30 second one minute clips on Facebook all the time little tips and tricks also some pictures of me out there wakeboarding, golfing, snowboarding, doing whatever I'm doing. It's kind of fun. But um, I'm on Instagram, Idaho Painters, and Facebook, The Idaho Painter. And you can also purchase my shirts and hats on my website if you want to help support my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. And once again, we'll see you on my next video. Out. It's Bear Premium, or let's <laughs> screw that up. Bear Premium Plus Ultra. <laughs> The tongue twister. Um, tongue twister with my nose all clogged. Maybe this, you just need a script. You need like something to hold up paper behind us. So I've tried the script paper. things before and it doesn't work. No? No, I, I, I have a teleprompter too and that shit don't work either. <laughs>